In this video, I want to talk to you about properties like hack and fill. If we now set this button, for example, to fill the container and I increase the sizes, you will see that the button stretches with the container while all the others remain in place. This property is often used when you are creating some kind of responsive design, when you need different screens. And also when you don't want to set specific sizes in after layout, but you just need the element to occupy all the free space or for the element to occupy only the space it needs. The first property, when we choose the width of our element, if you click on the drop down, that is the down arrow, we can set the behavior of this element. Let's examine, for example, hack contents. If I now enlarge the frame in which the element is located, and I already have an auto layout created here, and I select the element itself, you see nothing happens to it, it has the hack property. But if I assign it some random width, the hack property will immediately disappear, and as soon as I set it, the element will collapse and occupy the space it needs, taking into account all the parameters inside the element. That is, for example, the width of the text. If I decrease it, the element will also decrease. It also takes into account all the paddings inside. Of course, you can forcibly create such an element, then the paddings will not be considered, but when you set a very strict width yourself, essentially the auto layout, specifically the top and bottom margins, just fall apart. That's why a hack is used. You can also manipulate the hack, as I mentioned earlier, for example, by making the text height slightly smaller and the icon height. And for a button, most often the height remains unchanged, while the width is specifically set to hug. If I choose the fill container property for this button now, the button will take up all the available space, all the space it can possibly take. But let's look at the situation where, for example, I have two elements next to each other and see how much the properties and parameters of the elements will change depending on the width I choose. Let's assume I have two buttons. I select them, ma, create an after layout, shift A, and let's set some random parameters of 16 on the top and bottom. Pixels, and I'll also make the background white so that the boundaries of our auto layout are clear. Right now, we have a hack property, meaning the auto layout wraps around both buttons, looks at their parameters. They also have it, and it only takes the space needed considering the sizes that the elements inside this space occupy. If I increase the width of the auto layout, the buttons will remain unchanged. But if I set one of the buttons to fill, you can see that it takes up all the remaining free space. If I set the second button to fill, then both buttons will share all the space of the container between them. But as soon as I choose hack for one of the buttons, the first button with the fill property takes all the space that remains after the button with the hack selected. Hack, as I mentioned earlier, only takes up the space necessary considering the elements inside it. If instead of a button we use a simple rectangle with nothing inside, then this rectangle will not have the hack property at all. Because the rectangle simply doesn't know what to base itself on since there are no elements inside. The only property it has is fill. That is, it can fill all the empty space, but it cannot collapse based on the elements inside because there simply are no elements inside. If I add this rectangle to a frame, then the rectangle loses any hack or fill property, while the frame gains the fill property. Moreover, the frame does not have the hack property. Hack is only available for auto layouts, and the section also does not have any property. I hope this video was useful to you. We looked at different situations where and when to apply certain properties. Please leave your comments with questions. Give a thumbs up and as always, all useful links will be in the description below the video.